The Postman API is a great way to programmatically access data stored in a Postman account. Whether you're looking to get all the collections associated with a user, programmatically update an environment, or create a webhook, the Postman API is chock full of useful features. Now, like the documentation says, the best way to explore the Postman API is to fork the collection into your own workspace. To do that, let's click this fork button here. We'll come up with a label, and we'll fork it into this workspace called Level Up Workspace. So when I click this button, it should bring me to that workspace with the new collection added to it. And there we go. Here's the Postman API collection that I just forked. I'll star it to bring it to the top. And let's unfurl it to get an idea of the kind of things we can do with the Postman API. Here we see folders for collections, environments, mocks, etc. And for each of these, you're going to pretty much have the standard CRUD operations, create, read, update, and delete. But before we can actually go ahead and do anything, we're going to need to authenticate somehow. So if we look here at the collection level, we have this API key authorization, and we have this unresolved variable Postman API key. I'll look at the variables, and we see it's unresolved because I don't have any values in here. To do that, the documentation tells us we can get a valid API key by going to this integrations dashboard. So I'll click here, I'll go to this tab, and it brings me right here where I can generate an API key that I can use to authenticate my request to the Postman API. So I'll click this, let's call it level up, generate the API key, and here we have our API key. I'll copy it, and now this API key will allow any request I send with this key to associate me as the user. So I'll take this value, I'll paste it into my values here, I'm gonna close this just so we can see it. So now we have our API key saved by clicking the Save button. And again, because this is at the collection level, all of these folders and individual requests will use this API key value that I entered. And to test this, let's get all the collections. Because we're authenticated, this should work. I'll click Send, and we see that I get all the APIs that are here in this workspace. Now that you know about the Postman API, check it out. Mm -hmm.